What's going on, Leo? I hope you're having a great day, great weekend. This is going to be a timeless reading. Who is coming towards you? So do take what resonates, um, and then also include your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for additional clarity. But we are going to see who is on their way towards you, who is on your path for you to meet. I'm giving away three free love readings um, from now until the end of January. So for those of you that are new, I'm grateful you're here. Go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. And then leave a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine from now until the end of January. Each and every month, I'll remind you the last weekend of the month to be checking your notifications, little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage because for the end of January, three people will be hearing from me and then I will announce the February giveaway. All right, let's see what is coming towards you in terms of love. Spirit for my Leo's. Making the effort, great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. Something that's worth the wait. Something that is going to be worth the effort. And then this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. And as this came out, my eyes did go towards reconciliation in the deck. I feel for right now you're taking care of yourself. You're doing you. And with attraction at the bottom of the deck, you are calling in this romantic partner. One that is going to see yourself, your worth, see what you bring into the relationship. They're going to realize that you are worth making the effort for. All right, let's get into it. All right, Spirit, what else do you have? For what is coming toward? Oh, happy times. You are, things are starting to look up. Look at the emotional happiness within this person, the excitement. You could see it all over their face. And giving and receiving, an equal give and take. Cosmic gift from the universe is what I'm picking up with that, with that bag right there, are filled with gifts. We're going to do present, near future, and distant future. Wheel of Fortune keeps popping out as I'm shuffling. I do feel a shift within your energy. And look at that popping right out the sun. This is your energy. Remember, happy times. A lot of emotional happiness is on its way to you in terms of a romantic partner. And look at this. This is that special card in this deck that's different from every other deck. You see the squirrel, all the nuts, the abundance, the content that this squirrel feels to just fall asleep where he's at. This is the emotional happiness, the comfort, the safety that you're going to feel within this connection coming towards you. I do feel a strong bond. With the devil here, I'm feeling a strong bond. I, I, I just feel a pause between you and someone. Let's see. We're going to get additional clarity. And what I can see already is that mate. Look at the major arcana here. There's more major arcana. What that means when there's more major arcana than minor arcana, it means somehow, some way, this person is going to find themselves on your path towards you. It means it is divinely guided as I was picking up with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck as I kept shuffling. Six of Wands. Yeah, you are definitely being noticed. You are on the right path and you're moving in the right direction. Towards peace and harmony in your own life within yourself. Like I said, I feel right now you are definitely focused on you. And because of that, it's that attraction about yourself because you're making yourself the priority. 
judgment. Right. Wow. Leo, look at this reading. I do feel someone with this devil energy right here, someone wants to come and make things right with you. Balance the scale out. I do have Libra energy here, obviously, fire energy. Um, could be dealing with another Leo or fire sign. I also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius. And I do feel long-term commitment. Divinely orchestrated this blessing. Look at this. See this person? There's someone that you already know, somebody that you've already dealt with, finds you very attractive, finds you very sexy, very confident, very in charge. And I do. They may even come towards you and give you a gift. I truly feel they see a future with you. Let's see what else we can get. Again, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five major arcana here. This is a faded sh um, change in energy, shifting in energy. And look at this, closed off in reverse. No more resistance. Forward movement. Summer. So, for those of you that there's someone returning because this could be the one you already know, this romantic partner, you may have spoken to, to them the last time in the summer. You may have met them during a summertime. They could be uh, a Cancer, a Leo, maybe even early Ge or later Gemini. And could be like an early Virgo. I'm sorry, I had to let my dog out to my other half. This could be from now till the summertime that you have that shift in energy and this person makes their way to you. But there is growth within your love life. Yeah, see, somebody's watching you. I really feel like this person was not seeing things clearly within their own life. With that devil energy, uh, um, not that I'm picking up on manipulating energy, but I'm just picking up on a negative energy in their life. And I feel like this has shown up in other, in you know, your past readings. There's someone that just was in a negative energy within their own life, and they didn't have long term to offer you. You know, they were not the best versions of themselves at the time that you met them. They've never stopped keeping an eye on you. They've been watching you from afar, wondering how you're doing. Have you moved on? Are you happy? But I do feel a lot of clarity within their mind space and definitely a heated attraction. They may have kept their options open as they were dating you, not wanting something exclusive. Um, they may have been leaving something toxic, toxic relationship. They might have been within toxic energy, like I spoke of, you know, um, letting like their family and their friends make most of their decisions or weigh their, you know, their advice, their input, you know, on this person that you were dealing with, their life, their life. You may have had someone else at the time that you met them, but third party, external party is coming out. I just feel this person was guarded and they might have dealt with someone in the past that made them part of a third party and there was trust issues or, you know, some type of jealousy, like I said, because they were not the best version of themselves. All right, let's see what else we can get you, Leo. Spirit, please clarify who is coming towards Leo. Thank you. Please clarify who is coming towards me. Yeah. You're in your best energy. You are really taking care of yourself. You're reaching goals and setting things for yourself that, you know, that are going to help your future out. I really feel this person is coming towards you, moving forward within their own life. And perfect timing. 
divine timing is at play here. And I got that with all these major arcana showing up in your reading. I got that as soon as I seen that. Somehow, some way, this person is going to come towards you. Yeah, divine intervention, double rainbows. Pay attention to the synchronicities that you're receiving from your spirit guides. They could be repeating numbers. You may see a rainbow or a double rainbow as you're, you know, throw, scrolling through social media, maybe watching a movie. But I feel like this person is coming towards you put together. And it may have taken some time, like I explained. But I am definitely picking up on like late spring, early summer time that you're going to hear from them. Anything else? All right, nothing else. But we are ending with the sun at the bottom of the deck. I love it. All right, we have N, R, E, F, O, S, T, I, H, A, W, X, V, look, Tron. I'm already thinking of Disney. So you may have, may love Disney. They may have loved Disney. You may have traveled there. But it, the new ride in Epcot is making me think of that already. Um, but these are these are your letters. So take what resonates. Like I said, make sure you're including your other readings for those additional similar messages um, and clarity that you're going to receive on what is coming towards you in terms of love. There is a link in every description box to my Etsy shop. I do offer a variety of readings. My year ahead reading for 2024 is restocked. And that does include the love portion of it for the year ahead. And I'm sending you so much love and light.